Hey YouTube, it's Demetri, and today we're going to talk a little bit here about the Dallas-Fort Worth, we call it the Quaint Quant Conference here coming up. Um, I've just finally nailed down a venue. I kind of mentioned a few, like a month ago, that we were planning for the year, trying to put it together. Uh, it looks like we are going to be teaming up here with UTD, so University of Texas, Dallas. So this is in Richardson, Texas. Um, they have booked the venue. They've booked the auditorium. Uh, the one that we have booked, I love. It's you know, you know, it's the big wood stage and it's got these huge big screens on the side uh, and it holds a fair amount of people. We have some rooms booked as well. I would love to really make this a big, huge quant conference this year, really focusing on a few different topics here. So I'm really asking you guys for help. So listen up here on what I'm planning, what I would like to do, and then let's see if we can make it happen because I'm going to need... Um, people to help with this. I would love to get some companies involved, um, send some employees, get some speakers, some panelists. Uh, I'm really looking for people to help me bring this together, uh, right? I'm only one person here. Uh, and luckily, uh, Agora, so awesome shout out to Agora Data, uh, the company I work for, is really excited about it as well. They did last year with me. We did it at the office. And this year, they're very, very excited and pumped to make this a stellar success here. So, Give me some ideas here as well in the comments, but this is what I'm kind of thinking. I want this conference, again, to be a quaint conference. It could still be huge, but I want it to feel like it's a good value for the people that are going to be involved um, and for those of you that are going to be coming here. So let me start off with kind of the change I have done from last year. Last year, we did it in the office in Arlington. Um, I did awful planning. It was all on me. I had no idea. It was a holiday. It was after school got out. Uh, the first group here I'd like to target is going to be students. If you're a student, you're looking to work in the quantitative finance industry, whether you're an undergrad, a grad student, um, I would look and consider the fact that I did it at UTD because UTD is a great school here in Dallas. I'd like to team up with the university. Um, I have good connections with them as well and bring the students together. So if you're already at UTD, this is really close. If you're at SMU, you're at UT Arlington. Uh, there's a whole list of other schools here as well. Even like TCU over in Fort Worth. Like this is going to be really the only opportunity you're going to have in the Dallas Fort Worth area to network with actual quantitative finance professionals. So I'm trying to bring this in and make this great for students here. Um, that being said, I'd love to bring in a lot of companies because I know when I hire here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, often I'm like, uh, I'm having a hard time finding students. I don't know who's available. Um, and then I start trying to post job postings. And oddly enough, I hardly get any applications from the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, I tend to look at New York, um, Chicago, and of course, some of my bigger name schools. So, I mean, I recruit exclusive, well, not exclusively, but I do quite a bit of recruiting at University of Michigan, um, Stony Brook, Fordham, Carnegie Mellon, right? Those are my big four that have been on the quant rankings over the years here. Uh, I also look at a lot of other big name schools like Columbia, um, you know, Baruch, fill in all the other schools here. Apologies if I missed your school. Um, but I'd like this to be great for students. And I'm thinking about doing some sort of speakers or tracks focused on careers and career development um, to focus both on the students and the mid to late year careers. So one thing I find that is missing is we don't see a lot of career assistance after you get the job, right? Everybody talks about how to get a job, how to write a resume, you know, how to do the interview. And then you land your first job, you do it for a year or two, you want to switch into something different. What do you do? How do you make that switch? A lot of people won't talk about that. Uh, maybe you're five, 10 years into a career. You're starting to be mid-level, your VP level, uh, maybe you know, banking tiers here. You start to get into like the associate director level, but you're really wanting to make that jump into the director and the managing director titles. You're wanting to lead teams from the front. Uh, what do you do, right? I want a to see if we can do like a career piece of this to help align um, some of this insights here. I have not asked the individual, but I do have an awesome recruiter here in Dallas and I'm thinking about, you know, reaching out to him and trying to get some ideas and putting it together. But it'd be nice to have a recruiter on there that recruits quants in the quant space here. Um, have some industry practitioners, again, more seasoned professionals explaining the career paths they've taken. You know, quant finance is not a very linear process. It's a kind of a messy, unorganized field. Um, but this, I think, would be very helpful for students and for industry practitioners as well. But I'd love to make this of great value to students. I would like to put a research portion into this. So, you know, we already have one of my employees, my colleagues here. Uh, she's going to be presenting on a paper that we've been kind of working on together. Um, 
again, this could be solely research based, machine machine learning and modeling based with you know like information theory. I want this to be very informational for students as well. So from the student perspective, I'd love to have this as a nice eye-opening experience of what do we actually do in the industry and what sort of models do we do and what are the problems we're facing here, as well as how do you develop a career? How do you set yourself up for success? And how do we bring in the best people in the industry here to this conference so that we can really have those discussions um, and we're gonna have some networking hours as well involved in this. I would really like this to be super, super valuable for the students. Now, let's flip to the other side of this. I wanna see a lot of industry practitioners with this. Why? Because I feel very isolated and lonely here in Dallas, which seems very odd. Um, for those of you that don't know, Dallas has a huge quant market. Um, I worked at uh, Comerica Bank as my first job. I ended up going to Santander, which Santander Consumers is a subsidiary here in Dallas, which is huge as well. Um, and then there's, of course, Goldman Sachs, City, um, DTCC is here. There is Capital One, right? There's GM Financial. Like there's a bunch of firms here that are all big financial institutions and a lot of the model development uh, and model validation, so model risk management teams are all sitting here in Dallas. And oddly enough, we never get together and nobody talks. Um, and I would love to get a panel of sorts together, especially focusing on the struggles and issues we are facing as a banking community, as a FinTech community, uh, and just anything in finance here. How are we facing machine learning and AI? I am frustrated because I see so much nonsense online of people like waving hands and magic black boxes. And no one's like actually talking about, you know, you have to explain things and what problems need to be explained, which ones don't need to be explained. Um, how are we getting through things? Like for example, when I was at one of the big firms, um, overfitting was huge, huge issue that we faced. Um, I worked on the validation team. The paper that my colleagues are going to be presenting is focused on this as well. So I have been doing this since like 2018. I haven't seen it published anywhere, but I'd love to see the discussion points of what are we doing? How are we doing it? Why are we putting it together? Are there new, better technologies out there? Um, I know um, Agusu Janto, who was at Wells Fargo, who retired and went to work for, I think, H2O AI. They, he has a package coming out and I wanted to review it and I haven't had time to review it. There's a lot of awesome things going on in the machine learning community. I think the finance community though has a lot more rigor to it, at least mathematically and theoretically. So I'd like to see a group discussion as part of this conference here. I'd like to find the right people. So if you're interested, let me know. I don't care if you're, you know, building models, your junior employee or you're, you know, a managing director at one of these firms. I would love to see a group discussion here to bring the industry together here in Dallas to have more discussion around what are the challenges you're facing with the machine learning space, the model development space, as well as like the AI, the overhype going on, how is it being used in your as applications? Um and again, if you're at an investment firm as well, we had awesome people last year from like the wealth management side. And there's a few people from hedge funds. It'd be great to get some more interaction and discussions on these panels on what is actually happening uh, in the quant finance community. What are the kind of struggles we're, we're facing here? So I think that would be of great value. Now I mentioned the career panel as well. I'd like to see that help drive and shift and move people into other careers. And yes, I even get people that are like directors at banks and they'll say, Dimitri, I've been stuck in this role for five years. I want to get out. I want to do something different. How would you change that? I would like these sorts of discussions and panels be towards that as well here. So again, more interesting research. If you guys have been doing interesting research, please come share it. Be a part of the conference. Reach out to me. Um, I want to bring this together and make this a very valuable conference here. Um, the reason I would like to do it a little differently is because I've seen other conferences and it's like a bunch of research presentations and there's awesome insights to be drawn from that. But after you've gone through two or three of them, you're at least me, uh, I'm, I'm tired. Like I'm worn out. Um, I, I get it. There's a lot of rigor and stuff and I love math, but you can only sit through a few of them and then, you know, your attention span starts kind of weaning here. So I'd like to have the research side, some interesting presentations on that side. If you're interested in that, reach out to me. Let me know what you have. Let me know where you work. Um, we'll see if you'd be a good fit or not for the conference. Um, also, if you're interested in a panel discussion here, I'd like to have those discussions around machine learning and AI. Um, also, just around other topics. If you have a panel discussion you would like to set up in the quant finance space here, uh, please, please let me know. Uh, let's see if we can get a few different people involved here. 
Also, if you work at any of the institutions, banks, hedge funds, finance companies, if you have people, you work in something not even relevant to this whole other industry, I would love to get you guys to participate as well. So try to get some teams. I'm going to start reaching out to a few of my contacts just around Dallas at some of the banks and whatnot. I would love if you guys are out there listening and watching and you want to come or you have you know, employees or colleagues that want to come, please invite them. Let's see if we can get this to be a really good group. Other feedback from last year is I did a conference single track and we had basically lunch and that was it for the networking piece. This year we will have a networking piece. We'll have some more breaks where you can sit and chat. Uh, I always love to go around and talk to everybody. Unfortunately, even last year with like 40 something, 45 attendees. I had a hard time getting around the room, um, talking to everybody. Um, this year I'd like to have it much larger, but I'd like to bring in a lot of people so we can have more interesting, you know, insightful conversations here in the quant finance community here. So anyways, April 18th, we're going to do this at UTD. I am still organizing, planning. Nothing is set in stone at this point. I have a few, you know, close colleagues and friends here um, that have committed to kind of speaking. I have a list of people I want to reach out to. So if I haven't reached out to you yet, no worries. I have you in the back of my head. I am actually wanting to figure out how to put together panels, um, presentations, maybe even a workshop piece of this, figuring out how we get the most value out of the conference and out of everyone's time. So if you're interested in presenting, discussing, doing like a, you know, just being on a panel, for example, please let me know. I'd like to get you involved. If you're also with a company or a corporation or you sit higher up at a company, please reach out to me. I'd love to talk to your teams, validation model developments, um, even like decision science teams and all that. Figure out how to get everyone involved here. So anyways, ideas, thoughts, processes, please put them in the comments below. I will make a few more videos at least once we get more details set in stone. I have absolutely no marketing material right now. Um, I just got the okay here on I think Friday from UTD that they've got a room booked and they are gonna do it with us. And so now all of a sudden, Agora Data, myself, and UTD are gonna be starting to sprint towards the finish line and we're gonna start planning. I have meetings already scheduled this next week here. Um, but yes, please put your ideas, thoughts, and comments below. Uh, reach out to me, LinkedIn. You can go to my website, fancyquantnation.com. If you're looking for my contact info to get a hold of me and you're not on LinkedIn, or you can just kind of put something in the comments below uh, and we can find a way to kind of connect here. So I am very, very excited for this year. If you guys have not tell, uh, it's months away, I know. And I am already like, it takes a lot of effort and a huge team to plan these things. So a huge shout out and thank you to both UTD and to Agora Data. Um, there's marketing staff that get involved into a ton of work that I don't even touch. And this is still a ton of work for me. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.